You don't really know much about Halloween. And welcome to another chaotic Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And uh, we're the Newly Dads. We, we are. Have lots of dogs and lots of ice cream to try today. We are on another Van Leeuwen uh, kick. We've got three different ice creams to try. There is no spoon. Actually, there's three spoons. What were you saying about spoons? There is no spoon. What does that mean? Like the Matrix. And we also have Bailey who's joining us. He's yes, not tasting them though. Shaggy's on the floor licking away. All yeah. right. So we have, uh, in celebration of, um, well, it's actually past now, but uh, Mardi Gras. And <laughs> Way Fat past. Tuesday. Yeah. And Fat Tuesday. Um, we bought the King Cake French ice cream. Uh, I was really excited about that. And I was wondering if there was like the baby in the inside. Um, we like I, to have fresh baby. No. But like always, I like to uh, also read kind of what... Um, they like to, you know, explain on the side here, but we already know about Van Leeuwen. Um, but just in case you hadn't, ever since 2008, when Van Leeuwen was born out of a yellow truck on the streets of New York City, they've been making good ice cream from good ingredients that makes everybody feel good. Um, and nothing makes them happier than this king cake ice cream. There are no plastic babies to be found in this pint. Oh, yeah. nuts. Uh, because each colorful scoop uh, crowns the eater king. So don your mask for this treat of sweet ice cream with flares of yellow green and purple and cinnamon blondie cake pieces that sounds de delightful See, typically with the van lewins we're like eh, it's gonna be weird and gross but this time this sounds good i think it actually sounds pretty normal it sounds delicious uh, we each have one spoon for each flavor so that we're not cross-contaminating flavors and i'm a little disappointed van lewin that there's no baby inside uh but i'm i'm excited about it. i got a big old scoop cheers. you got a big old scoop cheers before you chew I didn't quite choose. I know, that's, that's okay. okay. I got a dog here. Their ice cream is always uh, French ice cream. It's an eggier ice cream. <laughs> Jaggy saw me drop it and he was like, <laughs> like, say what? Hmm. There's definitely chunks in it. It kind of just tastes like um, sprinkles. It tastes like a conference room smells. It does kind of taste like, um, he, when he says cross-contamination, he means from the different cartons. Not from us. Not from our mouths. <laughs> yeah. We cross-contaminate all the time. Yeah, it's fine. You know what I mean? And I think you do. Oh, there's a lot of sprinkles in it. And I got like a caramel or something. Well, there is, is there is a lot of cinnamon because I did say there's cinnamon in it. Hmm. What is that? That, that? It does taste like king cake. What's Have that? you had king cake before? Once. I don't know what that other flavor is. Cinnamon. No, the like... It's like a... It tastes like a king cake. Like a caramel schmear kind of thing. I didn't get the caramel schmear, but... Yeah. Hmm. I mean, do you want to rate it? Since we're these are so radically different. Um. Sure. Out of ten babies, <laughs> what would you give that one? Um, no babies inside. I am ashamed because it does taste like king cake. I, f I really do feel like it tastes like a king cake uh, minus the baby. Um, and I really do like French ice cream. You know, I do. I like yeah, that no, French I, ice cream. I, we've all agreed that the, the, the consistency and the quality of their ice cream is, is top always notch. top notch. Yeah. Um, but I mean, if you know what a king cake is and you're looking for a king cake ice cream, that's what I'm going off of. Fair. I'm going to give it an eight. Uh, I, I do not care for the flavor. And Maybe which, I need to try another. You know, cake. but if you're like, you know. So, but as far as the quality goes, I'll give it some points for that. But for the flavor, for me personally, it's like a three. Yeah. I, I but, but if you, but if you were looking for a king cake ice cream. 
trust my wife on that. One. Get you're gonna go. I, I would say that that would be go for it. Yeah. But yeah, if you're not like a king, if you don't like king cake flavor, then you're not don't a king cake connoisseur. Yeah. All right. Next one. We we don't want to waste lots of time here. Kettle corn. Now, see, this seems like it'll translate well. Kettle corn French ice cream. Uh, oh. Again. Uh, yep, French ice cream. I just said that. Um, nothing makes us happier than this kettle corn ice cream. We're basically a circus, so it only makes sense that we would create a sweet corn and buttercream ice cream that has pieces of honeycomb for that subtly sweet yet salty taste that will take you back to the big top. So I don't think it actually has popcorn in it. I think it's supposed to taste like popcorn. All those things make me happy inside. Yeah. Uh, my my wife is a Kiwanian and I help volunteer with them. And we do the kettle corn at the peck thing every year. And we make kettle corn. And oh. this year I was running the, the big cooker thing for it. So here's before you chew part two. So I'm kind of curious to see how this uh, fares. I am very sad that we've had this in our refrigerator for, for a hot minute. We've been sitting on it. Mmm. That's, that's delightful. Bailey was sniffing me. He's like, I want some of that, man. Come on. That Don't is delightful. Stingy. Don't be Sweet stingy. corn and buttercream ice cream with honeycomb in it. Man, Van Leeuwen, you guys have some, some mad scientists in your, Honey in your midst. Big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like honey. It's not small. No, no, no. Singing that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, mm -mm. no. What? Mm -mm -mm. No, I was singing with you. Oh, I thought you were saying no, you didn't want it anymore. Mm -mm. I'm like, you, no. want that. you always want that. Right? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Does it taste like kettle corn? No. No. It tastes more like a butterscotch candy. Yeah. Is more what I'm getting. Yeah. I'm getting more of a butterscotch vibe. Which that's, is fine, but if, good. then you should call it butterscotch uh, than kettle corn. Yeah. But, but good try. I mean, it's still it's still a, a, a pleasant flavor. Yeah. I, like it. Um, I don't know that I would eat much of it again because I've uh, I've grown averse to it's butterscotch. Like a butter, it's, a, it's like a butter pecan. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like pecans. But, uh, well, there's no pecans in it. Right, no, like but the I'm butter saying pecan like, without the pecan. Like the yeah, like I, if it had, I would be like, you know me. I'm just like, come on, we got stuff to do. <laughs> All right, so out of ten on this one, babies, mm. where are you sitting? It's very sweet. It is very sweet. If you're not a, a, a fan of like super sweet ice cream, I am a Van Leeuwen fan. She is. Um, I'm a Van Leeuwen. Ah. Van Leeuwen, if you're watching, yeah, we'd, we'd, we'd like yeah. to work for your marketing department. <laughs> Contact at thenewlydeads.com. Uh, I'm gonna give it. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight again. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm at a five on that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, better. Like I said a butterscotch. I'm just not feeling these days. But the, that one was a much better experience. This one I'm that. scared of. Kraft mac and cheese ice so, cream. Van Leeuwen, here's where you get us. This is where you got us. This is this why is I like Van Leeuwen's. This is where I mean we 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 actually kind of enjoyed the pickle one. We kind of enjoyed the the mu honey mustard pretzel one. Yeah, my hand is freezing. So Ooh. I'm a little bit. Uh, it is bright, bright ass cheese cheese colored. If your ass is that uh, color of cheese, uh, that, that didn't sound right. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. All right, nothing makes us happier than this Kraft mac and cheese ice cream. If this reminds you of the ice cream that you grew up with, you might be out of your mind. If this reminds you of the comforting bowl of Kraft mac and cheese you grew up with, you're getting warmer because it did because we did make this ice cream with that buttery sweet iconic cheese. You bet. Okay. Cheesy ice cream does. It, there is. I don't. I think it's just cheese together. ice cream. <laughs> I don't see any like noodles in it. I mean, I, I that'd be a little strange to have pasta ice cream, but here's for you two, part three. We haven't been smelling them, but typically they don't have a smell when they're cold, so. It tastes like the Kraft Mac and Cheese cheese. You taste it? Yeah. I don't hate it. I don't hate any of their stuff. It's a little salty. 
It is. I was just going to say, I'm getting salt on the back it's end. It's a little cheesy. You like sweet and salty. Um, Don't yeah. call it mac and cheese if there's no mac in there. Nope. And I love mac and cheese. I love Kraft mac and cheese. I love all mac and cheese. <laughs> I don't love that mac and cheese. I like it. Um, no. I like everything. Good job. I mean, honestly, and I'm saying that with all sincerity, no sarcasm. You did a good job. You created what you said you were going to create. I agree. Maybe some pasta in there would make it a little bit more authentic. It's not mac and cheese ice cream. I, it's I just don't cheesy see, ice cream. I don't see any, any chunks in it. But for me, that's a no dog. Uh, so out of 10 babies. I'm going to give it a five. Mm. I don't eat it. I, I, I'll probably I'll, eat this. I'll give it a two because they nailed the cheesy part and they nailed the, the quality ice cream. But above that, I can't, I can't do any more of it. No. Why? Mm. Nope. It's just, it, to me, it's like a cheesecake. Like a, ch like a cheddar cheesecake. That's not a thing. <laughs> that is not a thing. Somebody out there, if there's a cheddar cheesecake, send us a recipe. I already gave you the email address. It's email not address. bad. I, I say everyone should try this. There's no chunks in it. That's the duchy. Come on. <laughs> we got to drive out of here. These will be in the freezer if anybody wants to come share them with Laura. Uh, they will be on hand. My kids are... Laura knows I don't need to eat three pints of ice cream. <laughs> So if they want to find us to find other content like this and all of our other things, we do put out six things a week of surprised. new content. Where would they go? Uh, what did you give that, by the way? Did you give it a, a rating? Two. A two. One because of the, they nailed the, they oh, stuck right. the landing Sorry. and one because of the ice cream quality. Okay. Uh, yes, they can find us at thenewlyduds.com for all of your newly dead stuff, um, including uh, information about our podcast and our television show on and Tumblr television. events where if you'd like to meet us in person, say hello, get an autograph. Uh, bring Look us at our art. stuff to eat. We sell uh, things. Do some bartering trade, whatever. Yeah. Hugs. They're free. We also have a blog uh, we have a where blog. we unearth small businesses and we review movies. Yeah. Well, and does. we have dogs. Uh, they don't I, have I unearth the small businesses and he reviews the movies <laughs> yeah. that we've watched and talked about. Sometimes you, if you see something on Dollar Store Drive and you want to get a much more in depth uh, take on it, you can find that there. Yes. And other movies as well. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, as always. And until next time, let's quit yakking and get back to snacking. I'll let her do that. Bye. Happy Halloween.